Is there any circumstance you could um, conceive of in which you yourself would run for office? Of course not. I, I, I'm the last person who could ever win office. They would only have to show any tape of any show I've ever done. And there are 10 things in there that would disqualify me. But, you know, crazier things have happened. You no, have they haven't. No. I mean, first of all, no atheist could ever win office well, in this Sarah Palin country. was, you know, our vice presidential candidate, so, I mean... Well, that's a cho she was chosen for that. She, they, nobody uh, uh, elected her to the high office. Um, she was number two on the ticket, and she's well, not an atheist. She's in line with the Jesus freaks who are the majority in this country. Well, hold on. If we were talking about California, I mean... Well, they weren't going to win California. No, I'm not talking about Palin. I'm talking about you. Uh, there are places where not being a religious person are not necessarily not really. a political I mean, liability. I, I, well, then why are there a zero atheists in Congress? They are the, the least represented people in this country because the number of people now who say they do not believe in any religion and either agnostic or atheist is approaching 15% in this country. But the representation isn't 15%. 15% is a, is a bigger minority than blacks, Jews, Latinos, uh, gun nuts, whatever, you wanna, whatever minority you want to say, 15% is higher, but we have zero representation. But that is changing. People are coming out of the closet. As atheists. Absolutely. I had Billy Crystal on Friday night. His book is like, no, I can't really believe in a god. You know, who would have ever thought about Billy Crystal? They're out there. They're thinking it. They're just afraid to say it. But that's changing. It's, uh, it'll be the new gay marriage. Okay.